Welcome to ViewChem, the chemistry animations channel. Fabrication of plastics or molding of plastics. Molding of plastics. Molding of plastics is carried out to obtain the desired shape. There are four major techniques by which plastics are molded. Types of molding Compression molding Injection molding Transfer molding Extrusion molding Compression molding It is a convenient method for molding both thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics. The plastic material to be molded is filled into the lower part of the molding tool. Heat and pressure are then applied as per the specifications for a stipulated period of time. The plastic will be cured either at high temperature for thermosetting plastics or at low temperature for thermoplastics. The cured plastic is taken out of the molding tool for further processing. The process of compression molding can be visualized as Compression molding The equipment to carry out compression molding mainly consists of a lower part with an ejector pin and an upper part. Properly compounded polymer is placed in the lower part of the die in the designated area. Now, the upper part of the die covers the lower part and the lower part of the die is heated to 100 degrees centigrade to 200 degrees centigrade and simultaneously a pressure of 100 to 500 kilograms per centimeter square is applied on the upper part of the die. As a result, molding takes place, plastic assumes the desired shape, and then is taken out. In this manner, the process continues. Injection molding this method is a slight modification of technique of compression molding. It is more advantageous because compression molding is a batch process while injection molding is a continuous process. In this method, an injection like setup will be connected to the molding tool of compression molding. Powdered plastic is introduced into an injection like setup. And heated to liquid. Then, the molten plastic is pushed into compression molding tool with help of a piston. Later, the plastic is molded to desired shape. The process of injection molding can be visualized as Injection molding The equipment to carry out injection molding is a modification of the equipment used for compression molding. In this process, an injection type of setup is connected to the compression molding setup. Powdered plastic is introduced into the barrel of the injection setup through hopper. The piston is pushed such that the powdered plastic moves forward, where it is heated with the help of heating coils. As a result, the powdered plastic melts and further pushed into the mold. Now, compression of the liquid plastic takes place to give the article of the desired shape. If one batch of molding is completed, then again powdered plastic is fed into the setup through hopper, pushed forward with the help of the piston. Heated with heating coils, the liquid plastic is filled into the mold, and gets molded, 
as in the case of compression molding. Transfer molding. The polymeric material to be molded is taken in a powdered form and filled in the chamber. Then, the powdered polymer is heated to become plastic, that is, soft. Later, with the help of a piston, the plastic polymeric material is allowed to pass through a small orifice under pressure. Due to friction, the temperature rises to such an extent that the polymeric material becomes liquid and flows into the mold. After curing, under appropriate conditions, the molded plastic will be ejected mechanically from the mold. The process of transfer molding can be visualized as transfer molding. In the transfer molding, into the upper part of the equipment, properly compounded powdered polymer is introduced. In the next step, the powdered plastic is heated moderately such that it becomes plastic. Now, pressure is applied from the upper part and the polymer is forced to pass into the lower part of the mold through the small aperture. At this juncture, the polymer experiences more heat due to the pressure developed at the aperture, hence liquefies. The liquid polymer passes into the lower part of the mold. In the next step, the liquid polymer is heated to the curing temperature. Then, the molded polymer of desired shape is obtained, and then taken out of the mold with the help of an ejector pin. Extrusion molding. This type of molding is used in the preparation of continuous molds with uniform cross-section. Thermoplastic polymers are molded using this technique. Materials such as tubes, rods, wires, etc. are prepared by extrusion molding. The basic setup of extrusion molding resembles that of injection molding. Properly compounded powdered polymer is introduced into the injection-like setup. The piston pushes the powdered polymer into the front portion of the setup where the polymer is heated. On further pushing, the molten plastic comes out with desired shape. In this manner, the process can be continued. The process of extrusion molding can be visualized as extrusion molding. The basic setup of extrusion molding resembles the setup of injection molding. Properly compounded powdered plastic is introduced into the injection like setup through Hooper. The piston pushes the powdered plastic to the forward direction where the plastic is heated to melt. On pushing the piston further, the molten plastic comes out, assuming the shape of the die. When desired, the molten plastic can be cut. In this manner, we can prepare cable of any desired length. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.